Hi, YouTube. I pray that all is well, and I am just sitting here in my home and just said, you know, I need to get on the camera and let everybody know how I'm doing. I'm doing well. I am doing awesome. And God has really been doing some things in my life. You know, this whole thing going through with the cancer and chemotherapy and, you know, the different things that I had to encounter, it really has changed my life tremendously. I appreciate life in a special way. I wish I could put it into words, but those that have stared death in the face know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm in a place where I want to really encourage people. I want to inspire people. I want people that feel weak in their situations to be strengthened just by me sharing my testimony. Deeper than that, just by them hearing my voice, that they can be strengthened and know that God can bring them through no matter what's going on. Lately, God has been dealing with me about journaling. And I'm telling you, I can count on my fingers and toes how many times I have started a website or a blog and deleted it because I was like, uh, I don't know if I should do that. Because when I journal, I really share my feelings and my emotions and I really express how I feel. I don't sugarcoat anything. And I believe I was scarred from journaling because when I was younger, um, I would write poetry. I had this book. I can still remember how the book looked. It was like a journal. It had flowers all on it. And I would put my deepest feelings in there. I would put my poetry in there. And I'm telling you, I wish I would have saved that book or kept it. I don't know what happened to it. I believe if I would have released some of those things that I had in that journal, I would be a millionaire by now because it's some stuff and it was that deep. It was that awesome. But what stopped me from journaling, excuse me, what stopped me from journaling when I was 14 years old, now y'all may laugh at this and some of you may be able to relate. When I was 14 years old, um, going through that stage of just being a teenager and also my addiction of being a sexual addict, I wrote down all my sexual encounters in my diary. And it was a regular notebook. You couldn't lock it, nothing. But I'm such a writer where I wrote it down as if you were reading a script to a soap opera. But it was my life. It was real stuff. And lo and behold, my mom got a hold of that. And boy, was I in some trouble. Woo, I'll never forget that day. She called my sister, and I just so happened to be over my sister's house. So I had both of them on my back. My mom was like, I cannot believe you did this and that. And, you know, you're only 14, and all of this happened. And so my mom was really upset about it, and she threw the diary away. But we were able to laugh about it last year when she came up to take care of me when I was sick. And she said, you know what? I wish I would have kept that diary. She said, I would have made some money. She said, that was a soap opera. I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> but it was your life. And um, then I would, after that, I did journal and write a diary um, when I got married for the first time. And we would go through situations financially and stuff in my emotions. And oh, we were just going through in our marriage. And I would just write it down. I would journal. And then I would put my prayer request down. You know, if I needed God to do something or pay a bill or um, take me through a situation in my life, I would write it in the journal. And I would see God come through every single time. Well, I'm saying all this to say this. I have started an online journal of my life, and I didn't delete it this time, but I believe that it's going to really help some people. Um, you know, I wear many hats. I'm a mother, wife. Most of all, on the internet, I'm a minister. I'm an entrepreneur. But I feel like if someone could see all the hats that I wear 
then I can still be transparent about my life and how I feel, then it will help somebody. It will inspire somebody because I've been through a lot and I want to share it. I want to put it out there so people can know that they can make it. And so that's what it's about, you know. And then I was reading on the Internet that journaling, it helps stress. Um, it helps you feel better. It makes you think better. There's so many different aspects of journaling. And um, I just want to put it out there for the world to see. Why not? <laughs> I'm on YouTube telling all my business. Why not? Um, it'll be my place where I can vent and I can release. And, um, and I just pray that many lives are going to be touched by this new website um i'm not done with it yet i'm going to put some things on there and put up a couple of posts before i actually release the link and i pray that you all go and look at it so as you see i'm wearing my wrap today i'm trying to get out of the mode of wearing wigs my hair is growing back um starting to wear a little makeup i feel pretty good <laughs> i feel pretty good thank god for all that he has done and I'm looking forward to what Elsie has for me in the year of 2012. Let me know what you think about the journaling. Um, also, if you have a website where you blog or where you journal, share your link below or send it to my inbox so that we can um, just kind of converse back and forth. Or give me your insight about journaling or having an online blog for the world to see. All right. I love you all. And thank you all for your prayers and your comments. Words cannot express my gratitude for everything that God has done and all of you that show me so much love. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.